did you ever thought why ecg waves are called pqrst only why not abcd did einstein have really foresight to recognize that choosing letters from middle of the alphabet letters would be available to label waves that might be discovered later it's not that simple as it looks let's see how it was actually labeled the first human ecg recorded by physiologist waller in 1887 with lipmann's capillary electrometer revealed only two deflections he labeled the two waves v1 and v2 to indicate its ventricular origin einstein also obtained tracings with two waves made by ventricles and he labeled them a and b later wave for atrial excitation was recorded with an improved lipmann electrometer waller labeled newly discovered deflection with an a to indicate its atrial origin but einstein had already used a to label the first ventricular event so he used letter p to designate the record made by the electrical activity produced by the atria the explanation of using p is that it stands for point in discrete scheme discrete was the first scientist to state the law of refraction and he used the letter p and q in his study of geometry the ecg recorded by einstein with more refined electrometer showed four deflections einstein labeled these waves a b c d in 1895 He published an illustration that showed his mathematically corrected curve superimposed in the uncorrected curve made by refined electrometer. Because he used A B C D to indicate the waves in uncorrected tracings, he was forced to find another letters to label his corrected curves, which he superimposed on the uncorrected tracing. So he chose P Q R S T. Snellen, his official biographer, stated the following: To eliminate confusion with the uncorrected tracings. and to allow the space for possible letter additions the letter p q r s t from the middle of the alphabet were substituted for a b c d in designating the different peaks in the ecg this was all about this video kindly like share and subscribe our youtube channel so that you do not miss my future videos on ecg series